So we just entered into the park and uh, we're told I don't know. Many fatalities recently. There's been a lot of people dying recently. <laughs> Main, so the ranger, he's not a ranger, just like a I doorman, uh, said we better know what we're doing because a lot of people have been dying lately. So just kind of throwing it out there as we're driving. It in. So I'm gonna clarify, there wasn't fires or bears. No, or it's. He said falling, falling into the water and drowning, so we'll have to be extra uh, judicial in our water crossings. So that's, that's kind of what we got to, to start with. All right, so we've made it to the Longmere uh, trailhead. Uh, we're starting the trail tomorrow morning, so we're just cooking up some dinner there behind me. Um, what do we got? Fettuccine Alfredo. Yeah, little sidekicks. Yeah. So. Get some calories in us before we have to carry it all uh, with us, and uh, we'll be starting bright and early tomorrow morning. Do we have a time? Or... Well, we have to pick up our permit by 10 a.m. But um, given this... hopefully get going a little sooner. Yeah, I think that. we're going to try and get it pretty early, maybe eight. Yeah, because like tomorrow's going to be the longest day. We got about 55, 56 kilometers and, and a fair bit of climbing. So uh, slow and steady. We'll and how uncomfortable the sleep in the car is. Yeah, hopefully uh, sleeping in the car overnight goes well. So. Day one Wonderland Trail. We survived our night in the car without any bear attacks or either of us killing each other. Um, we're gonna get up and get some coffee. And it starts. All right, we're, we're off. We got all our stuff organized. Got our permits. Good weather. No excuses. Careful. This will be the first water crossing. Oh, maybe. And we have that on off.
32, 33K into day one. Still another 22 to four kilometers to go, so we still got uh, quite a bit tight today. Yeah. So, uh, Brian's going for a swim. He's just uh, scoping it out for us. Yeah. I don't know. He's checking out where his body's gonna go. Yeah, I don't know if the volume will even be able to hear it with all that. Probably the blood will be scattered everywhere. Hi, this is Nick taking a GoPro now. On the trail in the last couple miles up the trail here. Brian, a little bit behind. Getting close to Lake Mowich Camp. Uh, we're on a steep uphill. I think everyone's pretty tired. Brian's lagging a bit, but I know he'll, he'll pull through. Um, almost eight o'clock. Hopefully we get in soon before it's dark. Here we're out at Mowich Lake. Brian is choking down some food. Hi, Brian, how are you feeling? Not good. Can you elaborate at all? My body hurts, my stomach doesn't feel good. My nose won't stop running. Well, despite all this, Brian has got here and we're, we're getting the food down and we're gonna have sleep and tomorrow's gonna be a new day and it's shorter, so I think uh, we have high hopes to continue and well, we kind of have to, because we're in the middle of nowhere. So I choked down my dinner. Dessert was, was half decent. Um, I'm starting to shiver a little bit, so I better get into my sleeping bag and into my hammock, which luckily it went up pretty well, so I hope it stays up throughout the night. And uh, I'm seriously questioning whether, whether I'm going to try and follow through with this whole thing. Um, I'll see how I feel tomorrow morning when I wake up, but, you know, this could, this could be the one that, uh, you know, got a DNF on, so, uh, so just some thoughts to leave day one with, and hopefully, uh, day two is a little nicer. <laughs> Checking in, this is day two. Um, everyone else in the camp is kind of up, it's about 6 a.m. Uh, sun's not up yet, still a little chilly, but I know it's gonna get hot pretty quick, so. Hi, hey, Brian, how are you? Uh, cold. Tired. You, you survived the night without being attacked by bears or. Just that Or part. your own mind. Yeah. How's the hammock? Did it work out? Uh, the hammock worked out all right. The only complaint is my feet are cold. Mm, yeah, I was a little chilly too. All right, day two, heading out. to day two um, giving it a go feeling a little bit better this morning but uh, definitely gonna take it a little bit easier today than I did yesterday
All right, so I uh, did the whole downhill uh, to start with. We're just about to start the ascent uh, on day two. Uh, it's a beautiful scenery. We're moving along pretty steady, so one foot in front of the other. Just taking a short break on the second climb, second major climb of the day. Um, it's slow going, I feel like I've only got like maybe 20% strength left in my legs. So each step up is, is pretty slow. Nick's on ahead a little bit, so I hope he doesn't get too irritated uh, with me um, at my slower pace. So continue on, I've got another about 500 meters to climb. So I'm just uh, probably 50 meters or so from the, the uh, uh, skyscraper top. Um, met some hikers uh, just about 100 meters back. They said Nick's quite a ways ahead, so I'm just gonna leave him be. I'm having a good time. So uh, just gonna stop here, take in the scenery a little bit. Some footage from Nick. Looking back on the valley. Ryan's chugging along. Coming up the hill. One of our last climbs of the day. Up to Cole. And then we'll be heading down to Sunrise Camp. It's about two miles away. Hi there. So I'm at White River Campgrounds. This is just a little self video before Brian gets in. Um, it's a pretty big campground here. You can drive in technically, um, so there's quite a few like car camping people around. Um, but we got lots of food, so we uh, had a slightly shorter day today, which I think is is good because I think we're both pretty fatigued. Um, I think Brian is feeling it a little bit more, understandably, just because of uh, uh, you know lack of being able to do mountain training out in Ontario. So. Um, he's just taking his time coming down, um, trying to save himself for tomorrow's push to get back to Longmuir. Today was kind of uh, a lot of long sustained climbing and descents and a lot of in the subalpine, so that was pretty nice. Um, pretty hot during the middle of the day. Uh, it was kind of like that yesterday. I didn't really do a video yesterday because we were just so um, busy trying to get through the trail. We didn't get in until over nine, like past 9.30. Um, last night at uh, Mouch Lake, which actually ends at the top of a big climb. Um, so that in itself was a bit more challenging. White River here is actually the bottom of a, a hill, so a little bit easier of a finish, but we will have to kind of 
continue on tomorrow. There's a warning that the bridge, uh, log bridge at the river here, White River, which is a bigger river, I guess, is uh, partially submerged and sunken. So we're gonna have to see how that goes. Hopefully it doesn't prevent us getting through. Um, I doubt it, but. Uh... So we've made it to camp at the White River campground. Um, it's a pretty decent facility. Uh, besides not having showers um, so we've cooked up a couple of our meals um, trying to get some calories back in and uh, it's only about 6 p.m. so we got uh, some time to set up our hammocks and get to bed early because uh, we're we're contemplating doing the whole uh, rest of the trail tomorrow uh, rather than splitting it up a little closer uh, to the end uh, and having some left for the fourth day. So uh, we'll see how we feel, uh, if we can get rested enough uh, tomorrow. It'll be a big day, about 55 kilometers and about 2,300 uh, meters of elevation gain. So the climbs are what I'm struggling with the most. Uh, it just feels like I only have about 15 or 20 percent of the strength in my legs. So uh, just one foot in front of the other and work today. It's a lighter day today, only 40k, so um, we'll see if we can push it tomorrow. All right. Hello. So this is Nick's accommodations. Yes. Beautiful little hammock, drying some of your clothes. Not really that well set up, but... Oh, I think you did I'm a pretty good the, job today. Basically our goal is if we're off the ground, we're good. Yeah. We did a lot better than last night, I think. Um, and then I'm just set up over here with this unit. So just hang between a couple trees and you don't have to worry about tents or anything. Um, and that's, that's how we're sleeping on the Wonderland Trail. All right, so uh, we Got our breakfast in, brushed our teeth, packed everything up, and we're just about ready to head out on day three, which I think we're gonna make a push to finish the whole thing uh, today. So, let's um, we'll see how it goes. So, we're getting close to the highest point on day on day three um, almost 2,000 meters um, going pretty steady today just trying to keep moving forward we got a long day so almost there
Okay, so uh, we passed uh, the highest uh, altitude for the, the first day. Uh, we're on a big long stretch now. Of today. <laughs> um, the rain's not working out. Here, so it's okay. um, got some amazing scenery, landscapes. Uh, long, what, you can see down? Okay. Thank you. My watch is dead, I don't have a map, so I'm just falling the sides. So I'm on the, the last major climb, less than 20k to the finish. Looks like I might be finishing in the dark. I was with Nick for a, a little while uh, there and uh, I told him to, to go on ahead. So uh, just I'm enjoying some of the scenery um, while trying to keep my head in the game, climb this last 6,000 meters. All right, so uh, we're about 10K from the end. Uh, Nick was uh, gracious enough to start cooking dinner before I got here, so we got Reflection Lake. Yeah, I'm gonna try and put down some rice and beans to get us to the finish. about 3k out from the finish. Brian's getting a little delusional. He's starting to chat a lot, so I'm kind of curious to see what uh, what he comes up with. It's the first time Brian's been running. Hey, it reminds me of, uh, what was it? Fat dogs, the ending? See, so here he goes on his, like, rants again. Little push up the hill. See some houses and stuff now. Gotta be pretty close. Just basically drop down to the parking lot now. Looks like we should be almost done. Point one. Big old point one. 160 meters apparently. Ryan's ripping down. Clearly, inhibitions left aside. Let's come down the final stretch here. I see big blue over there. Just gonna tag the car and we're all done. Oh, Brian. Tag the car. Tag the car. Brian's just yelling, hey, I'm off the trail. He's mad at me for making him keep continue to run. But that's the car. That's where we started, and that's where it ends. Here he comes. Feeling good. 
So here we are. Whatever, Wonderland, no big deal. Come on, we get a game face. It's like, oh yeah, whatever. You managed to squeeze every last ounce out of me. Oh, hardest thing I've ever done. I know I say that a lot of times, but that's why I keep doing it. All right, now to find everything that's lost in the car. There's the Gatorade, we got four. Oh, thank you. So, that's it. We're done. Nick pushed me a little bit at the very end, which I'm grateful for. He's always uh, excellent at pushing me to uh, my limits. Um, it's better on the last day than on the first day. <laughs> um, just trying to figure out what we're going to do for, for dinner since we ate all our food on the trail. And uh, catch my breath a little bit. That's the Wonderland Trail. 150k, three days.